What's up everybody, it's your man Levi James, jump and rope. So yeah, we're gonna work over the crossover doubles and alternating sides with the running. So grab your jump ropes, grab your timer, let's get busy. All right guys, so what we're gonna work today is the double crossover. How does that work? We're not doing a double under, but what we're doing is we're holding the cross for two times as you go over the rope. Very simple. We're used to doing our single crosses as one time we cross, we jump over. Cross and jump over, cross and jump over. What we're doing with the double cross is we're holding the cross for one, two, and then pulling out. So it's not a double under where we're jumping up higher, we're just moving the rope a little bit faster, staying in the same position. So your basic crossover, over and back, over and back. What we wanna do is hold that cross position for one, two jumps, and then pull it back apart. This is how you do it. Bounce step. Cross, one, two, bounce step, cross again, one, two. Cross again, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So all we're doing is holding the cross position for two revolutions, making sure we keep the ends of our handles on the outside of our center mass so we allow the rope to move through nice and smooth, pull it back, and then go to the other side. I always recommend going right over left and left over right. So you practice both ways getting in and out of the skill. So to start, we're gonna do four bounce steps, one double cross and stop. Ready? One, two, three, four, two, stop. Back again, crossing the other side. Three, four, one, two, stop. Again. One, two, three, four, cross, cross, stop. One more on the other side. Two, three, four, cross, cross, stop. Okay, it's important to practice both sides so you can enter and exit on both sides of the scale to add on to other skills that we practice in our workouts. The double cross. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Make sure you count it so you know whoop, exactly when it's coming back over. Try not to speed up as you go through this. Keep the rope moving at the same speed. That's why we established our baseline way back in the other video. Click here for that video right now. So we go one, two, three, four. Cross, cross. Cross, cross. Cross, cross. Cross, cross. Cross, cross. One thing you want to do is make sure you keep your hands low. The lower by the waist you keep them, the more space above and below you have, just in case you accidentally catch your foot or anything. Because obviously we want to make sure we jump over the rope and not into it. <laughs> All right guys, so keeping that in mind, keep practicing. Two, three, four, cross, cross. Three, four, cross, cross. And you will be successful. Until next time guys, leave us a comment. Tell us some of the things you wanna learn. Subscribe to the channel and we will keep bringing you awesome content on the weekly. Till then guys, take care, goodbye.